And now for the second part of part two, we're asked to find the direction of the field uh, created by the current flowing through the wire. And to do that, we're going to use a 3D compass sort of thing. Um, as you can see, uh, the red end is north, and so it's tracked to the south end of the bar magnet, and it follows the direction of the field. And so what we're going to do is hold it close to the wire in various positions and close the switch and see what happens. And so the field goes, current is going this way, field's going to curl under, and so it's going to follow this direction. And as you close the switch and you loop around, you can see that it points in that direction. Not going very well. Uh, and so again on top, if we close the switch, it points towards the camera. On the bottom, if we close the switch, it points away from the camera. And then if we go in front of, it is going to go vertical and also attract. And if we go behind, it is going to point down. Similarly, if we go by the side and we go it points away from the camera it points towards the camera and same on this side inside the loop points towards the camera and outside the loop outside the loop, points away from the camera. So towards the camera inside, away from the camera outside. <clears throat> and then for the final, for part three, 